Okay, I'd like to call the City Council meeting of April 20th, 2023 to order. Roll call, please. Alderwoman Ames. Here. Alderman Cantorano. Here. Alderman Curielli. Here. Alderman Jacob. Here. Alderman Messina. Alderman Sismarski. Here. Alderman Woods. Here. Here, please. Here, I declare a quorum. Please stand, join Pledge of Allegiance. First off, I need a motion to approve the minutes of April 6, 2023. I'll make the motion. Second. Motion a second. Any comments, questions, or corrections? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That passes. Uh, do any citizens wish to be heard on matters not listed on the agenda? Okay, we have none. I have no written communique. And the mayor's report, we will start with 2023 Arbor Day Proclamation, whereas in 1872, the Nebraska Board of Agriculture established a special day to be set aside for planting of trees, and whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska, and whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can be a solution to combating climate change by reducing the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cutting heating and cooling costs, moderating the temperature, cleaning the air, producing life-giving oxygen, and providing habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees are a renewable resource, giving us paper wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products. And whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a so source of joy and spiritual renewal. Now, therefore, I, Anunjato Police Mayor of the City of Wooddale, do hereby pro proclaim. Um, excuse me. April 20th, 2023, as Arbor Day in the city of Wooddale, and I urge all citizens to celebrate Arbor Day to support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands. I urge all citizens to plant trees to gladden the heart and promote the well-being of this fu future generations. Dated this day, April 20th, 2023. Next, uh, let's minute take a note. Alderman Messina is here. Next, Officer of the Year. Chief, are you going to take the lead on this? Yes. Oh, there you go. Yes. Good evening. Each year we present awards to individuals within the police department who consistently go above and beyond in their daily duties to serve the community. These individuals are nominated for these awards by their peers and their supervisors. A discussion is then had by command staff of the police to select the yearly recipients of these awards. This year, it is my privilege to present Officer Jenna Werner as the 2022 Police Officer of the Year and Accreditation Manager and Training Coordinator Chrissy Savansky as the 2022 Police Civilian of the Year. Jenna has been an officer with the Wooddale Police Department for five years. She is currently assigned to day shift patrol and as a school resource officer for the school district seven schools. As a school resource officer, Jenna has the unique opportunity to build relationships with students within Wooddale, teachers and parents as well. As a school resource officer, Officer Werner is not just a police officer, but she is a mentor, a role model and a friend of the students. Jenna works very closely with school administrators teachers and staff to identify potential risks and develop strategies to address them. Officer Werner also provides education on topics such as drug prevention, cyber safety, and conflict resolution. By empowering students with this knowledge and skills, she can help them make good choices. 
When not in the schools fulfilling her role as a school resource officer, Jenna is out policing the community. Jenna holds many specialties within the department, such as recruitment officer, defensive tactics instructor, use of force instructor, juvenile officer, field training officer, taser instructor, <coughs> honor guard member, evidence technician, peer jury officer, and an active shooter training officer. Jenna is also currently pursuing a master's degree in social work. We look forward to seeing what future accomplishments Jenna will attain here in Wooddale, and we hope she has a long and successful career with our department. Next up is our Civilian of the Year and now three-time recipient, Chrissy Sabansky. Chrissy has been with the Wooddale Police Department for the past 16 years. Her first 10 years were spent as a dispatcher when we had our own dispatch center here in Wooddale. During her time in dispatch, Chrissy was selected to be a tactical dispatcher for the SWAT team. Chrissy continues to hold this specialty position with the DuPage Merritt Metro SWAT team. While working as a dispatcher, here before consolidation took place, Chrissy assisted the communications supervisor and the CALEA sergeant in the accreditation processes. After dispatch consolidation took place, we hired Chrissy as our full-time accreditation manager and planning and research analyst. Chrissy is currently working on her second four-year accreditation cycle and the department's eighth reaccreditation. Chrissy's role within the department has grown over the years, and she is all, also now the department's training coordinator, responsible for making sure that we are compliant with all officer training requirements and the recently enacted Safety Act mandates. I'm delighted to offer my heartfelt congratulations to our 2022 award recipients as they have both consistently shown their unwavering determination to make our community a safer place to live, work, and play. Their achievements have not gone unnoticed and the impact, they have, the impact they have made will benefit the community for years to come. Thank you both. Okay, next, city manager report. Um, one item tonight, I'd like to let residents know at home for those that tune into the city council meetings that construction will begin on our new recording and broadcasting system next week and go through uh, the week of May 15th. So during this time, we will not be able to record or broadcast any of the meetings. But when the construction is complete, we will have a brand new system and it will be uh, very, very nice, very nice improvements. Thank you. Next, on the consent agenda, we are going to remove item number two because we need to a more attorney review, so we'll just pass on that. So we have two items on the agenda. I entertain a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve the two items. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Roll call. All the women names? Yes. All the women, uh, all the names, all the names? Yes. Sorry. All the men Curielli? Yes. All the men Jacobs? Yes. All the men Messina? Yes. All the men Sosnarski? Yes. All the men Woods? Yes. 
And that passes. Now we need a motion to approve those two items. Item number one, an ordinance granting special use for a parking lot for the property located at 227 East Irving Park Road, Wooddale, Illinois. And the item number three, a resolution approving an agreement between the city of Wooddale and Waterwell Solutions, Illinois, LLC for the well six rehabilitation project in amount not to exceed $79,275.60. Do I have a motion? Make the motion. Okay. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Roll call. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Yes. Alderman Curiel? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Yes. Yes. And that passes. Next, committee chairman reports. Planning and zoning, Alderman Woods? No report, Mayor. Thank you. Public health and safety, Alderman Sismarski. Thank you. Public Works, Alderman Messina. No report, Mayor. Thank you. Finance and Administration, Alderman Catalano. I have one, Mayor. Go ahead. A resolution authorizing no. the execution. This one we're going to take after exec session. Is that correct? Yeah. We're going to defer till after exec session. Okay. So that and that's the end of my report at this point. Okay, under other business, we do have item number two. We need a motion, a resolution approving agreement for Prairie Fest security services and equipment between Embassy Security and the City of Wooddale, an amount not to exceed 24,000 upon attorney final review. I'll make that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? Roll call. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Alderman Messina? Yes. Alderman Sosnarski? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. And that passes. Okay. Next, uh, nothing under airport or airport noise or stormwater. Approval list of bills, Alderman Catalano. Yes, I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the list of bills for April 20th, 2023 for the amount of $1,521,795.68. That is my motion. Second. Any questions? Roll call. Alderman Ames? Yes. Alderman Catalano? Yes. Alderman Curielli? Yes. Alderman Jacob? Yes. Yes. Okay, that passes. Next, we will recess into executive session for, we got minutes, land ac disposition or acquisition and personnel. Do I have a motion to recess? I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're recessed. 